consciousness supports information and wisdom and when we make sense of the information that's the bigger picture view with the facts in it we can understand that there's a whole universe of, of life force out there in yoga especially oriented towards uh, life force information so looking at anatomy according to yoga it starts with for instance learning how to breathe properly because that's where life comes from so it doesn't dissect the body like a dead uh, a cadaver but it rather looks at a living body and says like how does a living body live most or best how do we uh, reach our infinite potential supernature through meditation by not being limited by thoughts but rather be uh, using the facts as part of a greater consciousness knowing that the thinking mind or the brain that's definitely part of our intelligence but we also have emotional intelligence and we also have spiritual intelligence and in a similar way our body doesn't only consist of breathing but it also has aspects uh, of hormonal strength and other um, uh, systems in it apart from cardiovascular that strengthens our health in general and wards of diseases um, uh, let's just be happy and a happy body is a healthy body and coming back then to personal development in this way yoga says yoga as union oneness or harmony with all the bigger picture but making sense of the of the parts allows us to be more than the sum of the parts and and that is really our super nature and, and super consciousness in our super nature state we have an expanded consciousness which isn't contracted so that's the opposite of fear and limited thinking or sweating the small stuff at the same time we can pay attention and focus on the detail and stay with it uh, whatever it is that we're busy and taking that task to completion completion so that we don't have like a whole lot of things that are unscattered that are scattered and unfocused all over the place we can also from that place then have focus and using the the two abilities literally to be able to look in the distance and see where we're going um, and also uh, being able to go inside and feel which steps to take so that each uh, step on our thousand mile journey takes us exactly where we need to be uh, and knowing that when we at that first step we've also already arrived because we're still in the present moment in the power of now so when we're fully in the power of now in this present moment we can clearly see where we need to go or where we are already and where we are in the moment of meditation and expansion and focus is inclusive it includes everything and in that inclusivity there's very little room for ego, power over others, if room at all. And there's no dogma and religion and, and, and that kind of rigidity and structure. And even there isn't the discipline. Yet at the same time, which is very interesting, uh, because we're using a technique, meditation, breathing, um, a spiritual belief or something, uh, a discipline that brought us to, to meditate in the first place so it's also my uh, desire to to share this information that uh, wants me to uh, tap into this universal truth consciousness of meditation and our super nature and put it down in the blog and then share it with you guys and then have the discipline to upload it uh, on the internet where somebody else can research it it requires discipline and it's still work but that's a thing of following your bliss so for me taking down this video and uploading it somewhere is uh, is actually sharing my bliss. It's sharing, paying it forward, and in that um, process of paying it forward, uh, the universe supports me. Um, I'm sharing something here of value, and the value that I share is self-value, um, and that's a healthy place to be. It's, I care for myself, and I've been learning these things and these processes in this um, development via yoga practice for me personally. It doesn't have to be exactly yoga for everyone uh, but as we develop yoga we realize who we are we self-realize we're more in the moment and that's where our real potential lies and whether that potential is uh, just survival or being more happy some of the time or whether it takes us through tough steps in life um, it will also take us to a place of great joy and spiritual insight spiritual growth and it can take us through many uh, parts of our life that feels like it's forever expanding and 
we can even then ask ourselves that question the whole time. How much better can it get than this? And without answering it, we can also ask the question, but who am I? Who is this? Who am I? Also without answering it. So that it leads us continuously up to a spiral, going more and more into the body, both ascending and descending at the same time, so there'll be more earth, more sky, more universe in the body, in the moment, so that we're definitely growing and that's self-development according to yoga. And that is a connection of body, mind and spirit as representative, in fact, of everything that is. So this is the true message of yoga as union, where it brings together the sun and the moon symbolically as our greater potential, but it certainly does not suggest that you need to, uh, you're honoring the moon, you're honoring your head, you're honoring your feminine, you're honoring your divine masculine, but it's certainly not suggesting that you have to pray to being a male or that you have to pray to the moon or the sun or something like that. It's truly about the union. Our strength, our real super nature lies in union. Our strength is, as people lies in community. Um, or as corporations know this very well, that's why they have a team of people because there's strength in numbers. But intelligent strength is different to just brute strength. And this is the, the, the challenge or the, 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 uh, um, the growth point that, that humanity is going through now. How can we be more sustainable? How can we be more inclusive? How can we be more organic? And how can we uh, be happy and still have things materially uh, without uh, dominating the planet or others or animals or women or children or whatever the case is? So it's a, it's a matter of stopping the abuse and growing into our supernature, and that's the growth point of consciousness, personal development, and development of the planet in terms of holistic yoga. I call it yoga because yoga means union, um, but you can drop the word yoga and talk about union. You can also drop that and replace it with holistic. You can also replace that with the big picture. You can also turn it into body, mind, spirit. But what you'll see is there's definitely work to be done and there is a, a, a blueprint, a map that we work according to. It's all guided by consciousness because it's a development of consciousness. I thank you. I've just arrived at home. So I'm going to go teach a yoga class uh, right now. And uh, we'll do another video blog sooner or later.